Okay, today's date, Sunday, 26th of May. Um, you'll hear noise in the background. It's washing machine, dryer. I kind of, and now you got the dog. He's heard me talking, so he's thinking Nathan's home. <laughs> and now he's huffing. <laughs> um, I kind of let everything slide yesterday. As in, I suppose, a heap of stuff done. Didn't happen. I did get a heap of stuff done. Um, Nathan went camping for the night, so he left about lunchtime. And he's due back sometime today. So, what I did yesterday, I did a section of um, the short link canvas, probably about that wide, I suppose, but all the way down, so 75 centimetre, well, I think it's only about 68, 69 maybe, all the way down. Um, I recorded that as a time lapse. Uh, so I'll probably use that on one of the mornings where I am. Um, <laughs> The eyes are hanging out of the head because I saw my um I look I actually looked at my last video clip and it's like oh my god you come off night shift and you've had a sleep and that's what you look like shouldn't put your face on camera when it looks like that not after any comments please don't comment on that um so yeah I did that which uh Which was probably at four hours, maybe even five. Start. I just looking at my recordings. I started it at quarter past one in the afternoon. I had a couple of stops, and then my last recording of it was just before seven o'clock, which is when I went and grabbed. Some, I actually grabbed something to eat. So I did that, and then. I worked on um, my blank custom for five hours. So that took me about half past seven, half past eight, half past nine, half past ten, half past eleven, half past twelve. I put that away. And then I was like, well, Nathan's not home. I'm not ready for bed. So. I just pulled out the Diamond Art Club and just worked on that for a meh, about an hour. And then I went to bed. So hence now, today is going to be a busy day when it comes to housework. Um, I've still got, today is Sunday, so I've still got Monday, Tuesday, I'm due back at work on Wednesday. I could probably go, well, I'll do it Monday. But if I get some of the washing done, it doesn't mean there's a lot. It means that there's less um, because when I do my floors, I have floor mats that. So I've got timber floors. My floor mats actually end up in the washing machine, so I've got nice clean floor mats. Same time as I've got clean floors. So yeah, busy there. Um, however, this morning I made my cup of coffee, and then <laughs> in about an hour. <laughs> on paint by numbers um, so that's on the the, tr the one with the pink tree and the swans and um, plans for today is one I've got to do some housework obviously um, I'm going to look at setting up for my next clear resin pours for on the dark flower cat the one I got from I think it was Heartful Diamonds and the drills were popping on it the one where I put aqua glue on it and to help it to stop popping so that's on the agenda for today um, and that's that's actually an all day process especially for recording it um, because I'll record the taping of it taping it, getting it set up, 
then obviously the pouring of it. And then I have to let that set and then I come back and do possibly another second pour on it because I want to do the pours while they're still um, damp so they um, so I'm not having to worry about sanding between coats because if I pour it today and I don't do anything further on it if I don't put a second coat on I've got to let it set for about 72 hours and then sand it touch it back whereas if it's still soft it blends together and therefore I don't need to actually um, touch it again unless I'm not happy with it. Um, it just gets it done a lot quicker. Um, there's times where I've done resin pours and because I've done it in the evening I've had to pour and then I can come back for another three days to touch it. But um, yeah, I might have attack that today. Um, but yeah, that's just a quick, short little thing. That's what I did yesterday. Um, oh, I've got to do my soup. I need a big pot of soup. I've got to put in the in the on the um, slow cooker. So today's a busy day. I would probably get sidetracked and do some diamond painting. Well, probably do some diamond painting in between the um, sitting of the resin. See how we go. I'll give you an update soon. Probably in a second. Today's date. 28th of May, Tuesday. It's five past twelve, so it's uh, just after midday. I've done a fair amount. Um, I have done a time lapse of the waterfall, and I've completed like this much wide, but like obviously just strips along. Um, I'll move my chair. I have. You can see him in the background. I'll give it to you closer. Actually, no, I'll do it now. Excuse the track you don't see me all in you guys in the US, sweatpants. Track you don't see it. So, my Ever Moment Panther. He is stunning. I will show him again at the end of it. So, he has been done, completed. Um, just a simple poster frame. I did glue him to the poster frame, but I'll explain that at the end of my vlog. Okay, so that's that side. So I got a diamond painting completed. <laughs> um, I do have one on order, um, so already. Um, but now that I've completed that one, I have I have empty storage, um, <laughs> and so I have one coming, which is the original artworks from um, a place in Perth. Um, but I am going to try. DIY moon shop. Um, however, what I'm going to buy is now we buy AliExpress here. We buy Evermoment here. We buy Diamond Art Club here. Price factor that is. Um, DIY moon is here. There is a massive gap in, in pricing. Um, what I want is something I haven't seen done before, um, but that's me. I I do something like I I have a tendency to go for stuff that I haven't seen, um, and I haven't seen this one done before. So tomorrow, um, while I'm at work, probably I will decide between. Two different sizes and the difference in the size is $30 so depending on the size I go with the most expensive one is $30 and that's US dollars so yeah um, but back to work tomorrow five days well five shifts then I get four off 
and then another five shifts. So in five shifts is about 70, uh, sorry, 63 to 65 hours. So that's in five days. And but in 14 days, obviously it's double that. So I'm probably looking about 130 hours. Um, my vlogs will only be done um, if I do any vlogs on the next within the next five days. It'll obviously be while I'm on night shift, um, or it will be in the four days off that I have in between the two. Um, so this is actually this. I'm now hitting the like I've done a lot of stuff. I've had plenty of time. Well, I shouldn't have plenty of time. Five days, um, but I've had time to do stuff and I've done a lot of uploads um, last week but not this last fortnight but not this fortnight. Um, I have I've done a resin pour this morning. Yay! One thing I said I've been trying to put, try and do and I've put it off and put it off. So I'll keep going and um, leave this here at a very nice short clip where I'm not waffling on. And um, I will probably, next vlog will probably be Friday morning before I start night shift. Today's date, Tuesday, 4th of June, and it's nearly quarter to eight in the morning. And I think I've done one recording since Friday. I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, I've, uh, actually I think it'll be later than Friday. Um, so I've been doing, I've just come off, I shouldn't say just come off, I came off night shift yesterday, so I've just done two days and three nights. So there goes about 60 plus hours. Um, I'm due back at work on Thursday because we have a team away day which is where a team and another team, another crew get together for a day. Um, so although we work as a team and we're, today, we're together every shift, um, we're all across different sections and we don't really spend so much time in the way of conversation and that. So and or getting all updates of where we work and stuff like that. So um, I will be at work four days and two nights. So that's basically six shifts, which we're looking probably about 75 hours in the next, in six days. So um Probably won't get much in the way recording done before Friday of this Friday. So generally I upload on Friday, so which is only three days away. <laughs> um yeah, so I haven't done much. As I say, this is this fortnight's always the um this period of time is always a hard period of time for me because it's just work, eat, sleep, work, eat, sleep, work, eat, sleep. And then work, sleep, eat. <laughs> Um, so if you hear any noise in the background, yet again, washing machine going, everything going, I've got to do um, the floors, normally I do the housework when I come off night shift, but too knackered, so I slacked off. Um, you can see my panther behind me, um, there is also the camera, my little Groot, he's directly in front of that, so wait for that one on my um, last day on my final um, day for a just for an update. Um, but that's it, it's just a quick little check-in. Uh, just been busy lighting as it happens. And um, yeah, I'll see you in a second. And before I go, come here with me. No, not boots, we've got both. Food some both. Hey. I talked to one, the other one's got to arrive. <laughs> They're off. Bo, come here. <laughs> oh, hopefully you um 
enjoyed that little bit of a share. Um, I, because of the way I work, I have lots of time on my days off. Um, but yeah, I thought you might might like this little clip to see how I work with some um, yeah, just staying organised and stuff. So uh, I'll catch you later. Bye. Today's date is Thursday, the sixth of June. It's actually four o'clock in the afternoon. Yay! I see the afternoon. Um, so I'm about to start. I've just done. Um, collaboration day which is spending a day half a day I suppose three quarters of a day in the office with the whole team discussing stuff so there's my first day and then I've got three days and two nights so um, in six days it works out 70 odd hours in six days <coughs> excuse me and we our team is such a sharing team that Feels like they've started sharing the loogie. There's a bit of a cold going around the office. It's winter now. And I think I have actually started the cough. So it's going to be an interesting block. Um, what can I say? I've done a variety of things. Where did I put that? Okay, so I've done a variety of things. I've managed to do. A bit of my blank custom. I have finished my panther. Um, I've done some resin work. I've worked on two other canvases. Sorry, three other canvases as well. Um, so, like, I keep. One thing I do do is I am constantly changing what I'm working on because I will sit for three, four hours working on something. I get there and I change it so I'll work on this one and then I'll work on this one and I'll work on this one um, and they're all reasonably big the smallest one I actually have is um, Diamond Art Club that's the smallest one I've got um, so yeah um, so I'll take you down to what's on my desk and I'll show you where I'm at what I've achieved for the um, for the fortnight and yeah hope you like what I've done. Alright so I suppose I thought I'll start first of all with the where is that where are we hang on there we go first one that I'll go through is actually my blank custom so that's been good to do um, I can now do I think about three and a half hours I can do what is it four by four squares so uh, which is uh, one page so this is the three and a half hours so this one I did this one page in three and a half hours so I bring it down to a nutshell um, eight nine ten 11 and 12, once I reach 12, I'm at the halfway mark across. And I'm going to try to manage it to do 11 and 12, and then I'll work my way down. Um, I'm thinking I may have to actually turn my canvas sideways to work. So, yeah, there we go. So that's where I'm at with that one, which I will now pop on the floor. And hopefully my little buddy boy right, Next one is the Lion family. So what am I at with that one? Tape measure. I'm more than halfway through with the Lion family. So he is looking really, 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 really good. Hang up. I brought a new light. I just need to turn it on and that will stop the shadows. Let's move it. Right here. 
that should make a difference. There we go. So, so that's looking quite pretty cool. I'm really liking the look of him. Can't see what that is. Oh yeah, now. I Still can't quite work out what that is, whether it's a butterfly, I can see wings, but it's possibly a bug as well. So yeah, it's looking pretty cool. Um, still got, so the lion's done, the cub's done, just got the lioness and whatever creatures I've got on this side. Right. Now, oops, I just got that one the wrong way. What have I got under here? Now this one is something that I did an unbox. I did a so this one is really funny. I recorded an unboxing. I recorded a kitting up, and both of those um, recordings. Oops, there we go. Both of those recordings. Sorry, I don't have enough room for my desk with the size of this. Both recordings for this guy um, actually failed. So I thought, well, I'm not. I'm going to frame him, but I'm not going to frame it on camera. So here we go. I got the panther completed. And if you guys turn your head on the side, you will actually see him. Oh, there's just not enough room on my desk. Anyway, so there he is. So that was a 60 by 90 ever moment that I just put on a poster frame. I did put aqua glue. No, I didn't. I didn't seal the front of it. What I did do though was I did put a layer of glue on the back of the canvas. So on the back, I put a layer of glue on it and stuck it to the backing for the poster board so that it won't slide down. So there we go. So that's him. Right. What else have I achieved? What else is under? Um, Ta-da! There's another one. Completed. Um, he is putting me in a frame for you. <laughs> um, he is resin. Um, I got that done a couple of days ago and uploaded it. I uploaded the process for this guy. So his looks pretty cool. I do like him. So that's on the art, that's using art resin. You can see how thin that is. There is no board, that is just the canvas on the back. And he was from Evermoment. And you can see the glitter in amongst all the glare of everything. But you can see the glitter on him, which has helped keep his sparkle. But I like him like that. He's cool. So I can now put that one on the wall. Right. Now, the next one is this one under here is Diamond Art Club. What I am actually going to do is this is the where I've got all the drills stored for this one. I discovered a couple of things with this. So I will turn it over. Whoops. Upside down. Okay. I think I might put that poster board down so you're only looking at the diamond art club. Bear with me. All right, pop this down. Be only focusing on the one thing. Okay. Diamond art club. I did say the only time you guys, for the way I felt about. Um, how people feel about Diamond Art Club in the comments that I got that I actually have removed from the unboxing I did of this. Um, so this is 
the Diamond Art Club. I've only done I've done approximately 14 centimetres or five and a half inches. So 14 centimetres, I've still got just under 50 centimetres to go. The reason why I'm saying this is, well, one of the reasons I'm going through this is to show you I have completed all of the white. Okay, I'll just get this out. Okay, hopefully you can see it will focus. Whoa, there we go, it just dropped some. Focus on there please camera. So this is just the white alone and I obviously just <sighs> Come on, can focus. So if I tilt this, I have got, I've got so many hollow drills. So if you can see that, sorry, I'm, okay. I've just dropped quite a few, but that's all from just the white alone. The rest of it, And then for the other, the rest of the colours, I have this amount of junk. And yet again, the majority of them, there we go, that's better. You can actually see. Um, just trying to get it in focus again. See there? They're hollow drills. Um, so I've, let's see if I can pick it up and you can see it. Let's see if it will zoom on that one. You can see, I don't know whether you can see that, but that's a polo drill. So for the fact that I, there we go, here's the other one. For the fact that I've only done 13, 12, 13 centimetres, got a fair amount of junk in there. So just something that, um, whether it's because I know Diamond Art Club, majority of the time they do rounds, um, whether they're just not, the square drills, is, they're still perfecting. Um, yeah, that's another thing that would do that. I have seen that some people have actually contacted Diamond Art Club um, to let them know. There's no point me saying anything to them to let them know. Um, purely on the basis that I don't know. For the fact that I have to pay for delivery that took so long, I don't know if I'll order from them again. And mind, this is the only one that I have actually seen that I liked. Um, and the other thing that I have had with it is uniformity of the drills. So, but that's, that is wholly and solely my experience and, um, I am having to deal with some that are popping. Where is it? There it is. Um, so yeah, and that one's popped up good and proper. <laughs> that one's popped up on the hand. Hang on. Where did you come from? Right. Um, that's my experience so far um, but I've seen that other YouTubers have 
notified the company of the issue, so I'm presuming it is going to get resolved. Um, yeah, there's no point me putting anything in, but that's my experience. The other was a couple of funny things. One of them is the colour of the drill tray. <laughs> I was using this drill tray. I've gone to using the grey one because um, clear. I was when I was working with the whites, and I had it sitting on top of you know some that looked like that. Um, I was actually going and trying to pick up whites that were underneath it. So that's another little thing that the clear tray is gorgeous. It's cute, um, but not if you're going to sit it on top of your canvas, or you need to put something underneath it so that you can actually see what's in it. What was the other thing so far about this one? Oh, the other thing that I saw was about this one was the fact that this is the first time I've received a square canvas without tweezers. Um, you see me using a drill pen a lot, but I also use um, tweezers. If I'm working upright on, a, on my easel, I tend to use my drill pen. If I'm flat, I do prefer to use my tweezers on my squares. Um, I do have a couple of exceptions. Obviously, one of those exceptions is my massive blank custom. But yeah, that's just something that I have discovered about this one. I'll put that back in there. So yeah, this one is more, I suppose, once I've finished working on any of my others, I'll probably sit and do about an hour. Just... Instead of continuing on with something else, I'll pop, pop onto that for an hour. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, that's the diamond up. Get this one out of the way. Now, this one. <laughs> this one is quite interesting. Just so. I have, I'm not using a light pad underneath because the light over top is too much. Which is really great. There's no requirement whatsoever for the light pad. I was using it initially and then discovered that I didn't need it. But where are we at so far? Let's pull this along. Okay, so there's the edge. Um, oh. Tape measure on this dude. I did end up measuring it, and this canvas, this was a 75 by 200, was what it was ordered as. It is not that length. So I've done 60, 60 centimeters. And I've commenced working on another 12. So this is actually worked out to be, hang on, just, I always have the back of my, back of my computer. There we go. Um, so yeah, I did measure it. It worked out that the, it was 69 high. Straightens out. 69 high by 190 centimeters, so 1.9 meters long. So it wasn't the full length as the canvas itself is 75 by 200. Um, so standard thing for a lot of companies. They don't. The measurement is canvas measurement. What else did I find? Ah, the wording on this. If somebody can confirm, I used Google Translate on this and it is searching or seek, um, which in a way it's, I find that is appropriate for this picture because it's um, what you're, it's because it's so big, hang on, it's what you're searching and looking at, looking at the horizon. Now, I do have this still rolled inside the Evermoment tube and I've been working on it sideways. And what I will do, I hope you don't get dizzy on this one, 
bear with me. I actually have a gap at the back of my desk. So this is where it's rolling down now. Once I get further along, I am going to have to oh, let's drill. That was just sitting on top. Um, what I am going to do have to do is roll it around. So yeah. Otherwise, um, I'm loving this one. This one I'm really enjoying doing. Um, so yeah. Okay, so that's what I have achieved for the fortnight. Um, what I didn't do is the leopard. I didn't do my South African travels. Um, been a tad um, busy and Nathan's been home when I've wanted to do those recordings. Um, because when I do the South African one, I'm obviously on drilling, but at the same time I'm also going through all the video footage so I can find and talk about what I'm putting up for you guys to see. Um, so yeah, that's didn't do any of that. I will be um, post. I plan to do that this fortnight. I'll probably do a couple, um, but I'm actually going to have to schedule them out because I'm actually heading to Cairns for a couple of weeks. Um, in July, so there's going to be two weeks where, well, just over two weeks where you won't see any recordings from me unless I actually do some recordings. And I actually, I don't like scheduling my recordings because the YouTube stuff is a hobby for me, it's not a job. So therefore I don't feel as if I should be putting out something six o'clock every second day, five o'clock every second day or whatever. I put footage up as soon as it's ready to go. If it takes me a few days to actually um, edit and put it together so that it's presentable, um, which is like what I have to do with the resin, I have to, that's all recorded on my phone, so therefore I've got to actually work and then I speed, I work out at what point I need to do it in a time that's um, so stuff like that, I, when I work on it, it's done on a camera and it just takes a lot more time to edit and I suppose bring down what took three hours of recording, bring it down as much as I possibly can. Then I'll play through it and then it's like, no, I can bring that bit down a bit more. Um, so it's just a lot of mucking around, backwards and forwards to try and get something that is not too long to look at because I know a lot of my um, a lot of my videos are long. Um, what else? The the waterfall. Um, actually, no, I will touch on that with the with the uploading. If I hop into a live, if I'm up, if I've got something going that I've edited and I'm uploading, what I do is I put it to private if I if I'm actually in somebody's life I will actually put it to private so that it will continue to upload but it doesn't pop up while I'm in a live so that it doesn't detach it doesn't distract people from the live that they're attending if they're in that live and they're subscribed to me they don't get that notification because I'll do it I'll try and put it after the live so my apologies ladies, I was actually in a live the other day and I believed I had my, I was importing the um, the clip um, and I thought I had it set to private so that then when I actually popped out of the live I could then upload it, put make it, make it public then or one of the things I actually do do is I tend to ask if I'm in a live I'll go how much longer do you think, when do you think you'll be finished here at the live and I will actually turn around and schedule the, my upload to happen, you know, two hours, three hours or whatever. If somebody says oh, I'm only on live for another half an hour, I'll schedule it for an hour so it comes up after the live um, just so that, um, I mean, we all like to be in lives but yeah, just that's it. That's when I do schedule. Is if I'm going to be in a live, I will not 
um, make a make a video go public while I'm in the live out of respect for where I'm at. Um, so that did happen the other day. I was in somebody's live and sorry ladies, I will say it again, I'm sorry. Um, it was set to private, I don't know what happened. But I guarantee you, it won't happen again. If I'm in a, if I'm in a live, I won't let it, I will do everything I can not for it to be published. Um, it was only a four, five minute video footage, so it didn't take long to upload. Here goes the ice machine. Um, but I believe it was part private. But anyway, it happened. Um, and if you ladies are watching the set again, more apologies. Um, so yeah, there we go there. Um, plans for the fortnight. How much longer have I got? When's the fortnight? <laughs> That's to the 21st, so I've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday. So I've got two swings to do at work. Let's see. Yeah, two swings at work in between now and my next um, fortnightly vlog. Um, so I'll see how we go. Um, oh. For those that entered my, um, my little message at the end of another video footage that I uploaded, and those of you that emailed me, I will know who I'm talking to. I got, I had three people email me. Um, what I will do is I will actually respond after this is. I will respond to you. Um, probably tonight sometime, I'll let you know that I did receive it because I haven't responded to them. Um, because I had, um, not many people actually responded to. So, and I will say I had, three, I think only three people have, I only received responses from three people. Um, so based on, on that, I did an offer, um, in that video footage, I did an offer of a choice of three. Um, so you know what I'm talking about? I might actually, um, think about giving you guys one each, but I will email you and let you know, um, I haven't reached that number. I'm still waiting on that magic number to happen. Um, so yeah, if you actually have done what I asked and you don't receive an email and you haven't received an email by the time you watch this, um, please email me again. Um, go back to the video where that was and email me again and um, to make sure that I did get your email but I will be responding to those that I got a response back, a response back to. So yeah, um, that's a bit cryptic, isn't it? Now everybody's going to wonder what the hell. But you've got to get to the end of the video to actually understand what, I'm, to actually hear what I'm talking about. So I'm going to leave that here, or there, or wherever I am at the moment, and um, keep you updated with what I'm doing in my next fortnight you go. Bye.